Welcome back, testing our ballistics. Today we're gonna to be shooting this Bushmaster. This one is an XM15 E2S, AR15, shoots 223, 5.56. Um, this is one of the later produced ones. Uh, I got it used, I don't know exactly when it was made, but it, it's after Freedom Group bought the Bushmaster from Wyndham. Uh, but it's still not a bad rifle. I hear they're good, I hear they're bad. Uh, I think it's a decent rifle, especially for the cost you can pick them up at. Um, we got a new silhouette target on the range. Uh, I think we mentioned it in a previous video. We finally got it set up out there. So we're going to be shooting at that today. We also have all this stuff on the table. It's real windy out today. Uh, it's died down a little bit just when we started filming, but that's there to keep the wind down. So I'm going to be shooting this uh, American Eagle 5.56. One of the rounds. You'll be using one of the Bushmaster magazines. Put that in there. And also, this rifle is not perfectly sighted in. I haven't really had time to sight it in, but uh, we're going to do our best with what we got. So let me get these earplugs in. Here we go, 20 rounds. There we go. All right, that's 20 rounds there. This thing is shooting uh, pretty low, but uh, once you found out where it was hitting, uh, group's pretty tight. Uh, if you really pay attention to your shots, windy, like I said, shooting low, but it's a good rifle. We're gonna let Garrett load up, shoot 20 rounds through it. He's gonna be shooting this other Independence 5.56. Five, let him get his impression of it. All right, guys, we got 20 rounds of this uh, Independence 556 five, loaded up. Let's run it through. That's it. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, you know, this is just a standard uh, run of the mill, mill spec style AR. Um, uh, it is a nice budget rifle. Uh, you can find these uh, for around uh, 450 to the $600 range used. Uh, but uh, it is a good option if you're looking to get into uh, uh, the AR platform. Uh, it's a pretty customizable platform in and of itself. Uh, Another thing with this gun is uh, um, you don't have the front sight post, so uh, that's a little bit of a, 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 a negative on my part. It's not a big deal, but uh, I know some guys like to have that. Uh, uh, also, I do want to mention uh, the steel plate that we just got, the Silhouette Target, has been gifted to us from one of our subscribers. Very generous of her. Uh, we really do appreciate it, and uh, we appreciate all the support we have been getting from everybody. Uh, we appreciate all your comments, all of the likes, and the uh, and all our new subscribers as well. We're getting really close to the 500 subscriber range, and uh, like we've mentioned in previous videos, we do have a 500 subscriber giveaway going on. Uh, we're going to have a, a 500 subscriber hat that we'll, we'll customize and uh, give out to the lucky subscriber. Also, we will be making some hats available for purchase if anybody's interested. Uh, no estimate on the time frame of that just yet, 
another big announcement I do want to make is we have got our first sponsor officially. Uh, Haskell Gun and Pawn of Haskell, Oklahoma has generously contacted us and are allowing us to use any of their used firearms in their store for our videos. Uh, granted, we supply the ammo, of course. And uh, the owner, Brandon, is a real good friend of ours. Uh, he's been real uh, great supporter of the channel so far. Uh, and he's also going to let us use some rifles and pistols out of his personal collection as well. So we really do appreciate that. Uh, if you're in the Tulsa area, Muskogee area, uh, anywhere around here, check out Haskell Gun and Pond. They've got a big selection. He's always got new stuff coming in, and he's willing to work out a deal with you guys. So uh, I'll turn it over to Houston for uh, closing statements, and that's it. All right, guys, that's going to end today's video. Uh, just to recap, the Bushmaster XM15 E2S this is a good rifle. Like Garrett said, you can pick them up for anywhere from $400 to $600. Um, this one's in gently used shape. Don't have a lot of scuffs or nothing. Um, good rifle. Glad we got this one picked up. Uh, well, again, I want to thank our subscribers. I want to thank Brandon and all the guys at Haskell Gun and Pond for their support. And we'll just ask every one of our subscribers if you could share this video with one person uh, so we can continue to grow, to continue making uh, this kind of content. Um, and that's really all we've got for you. We appreciate you watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.